Okay, we're going to finish out the rest of these for our absolute value. I'm going to rework number 14 just um, for the sake of um, that inequality symbol that I missed last time. Before I start, I want to get absolute value by itself. Now I'm ready to break it apart into two equation inequalities, so I get greater than or equal to 6, one time exactly the same without the absolute value bar. The second time, flipping the inequality and making it a negative. Okay, you come back over here and we're just going to solve. Divide both sides by a negative. When you divide both sides by a negative, you must remember to flip this, which I said to flip it and then didn't flip it the last time. So I just want to make sure I um, do that this time. And then over here, we're going to get negative 6x equal to negative 18 and divide both sides by negative 6. So we're going to be applying that same rule and flipping this inequality as well so I would get x is greater than or equal to 3 I have a 1 I have a 3 this bar means a bracket so x is less than 1 this bar on this side means a bracket on the 3 and it's greater than the original problem points to the right so it's an or so I come back down here and or says if it was ever colored it's part of the answer now we want to start with the leftmost point to the rightmost so this is negative infinity to 1 with a bracket when we have a gap right here that becomes a u for union 3 to infinity now in your homework these unions and infinity symbols are going to be on the toolbar usually to the left if you're using my math lab okay number 15 absolute value is not by itself yet we has a 5 multiplied by it so before I can start solving this thing I need to divide everything by 5 we got to get absolute value by itself first like this now I'm ready to break it into two equations and inequalities I mean so we get x plus 1 is greater than 2 exactly as it is without the bar and then x plus 1 less than negative 2 flip it and change this change this on solve this thing for x x is greater than 1 x is less than negative 3 so I have about there x is greater than 1 would be a parenthesis here x is less than negative 3 is here the original problem is points to the right so it's going to be an or or says if it was ever colored we're going to name that as part of the answer so negative infinity to negative 3 union 1 to infinity yes the order matters and you must name your interval notation this is interval notation from the left to the right as you read it all right number 16 absolute value is not by itself because of this plus 1 so I want to move it over to the other side I'm subtract 1 so then I'll get absolute value of 3x minus 7 is less than negative 3 now I want to evaluate absolute value so I'll break it into two inequalities one exactly the same and the second one I'm going to flip it and change the sign So over here I would get 3x is less than 4, x is less than 4 thirds. On my right hand side I would get x is greater than 10 thirds. Okay, 
Um, I'm just going to jot these down on the number line. If you're not sure which one's bigger, put them in a calculator and look at a decimal. Um, no respect to the scale here. This is just 4 thirds is less than 10 thirds, so I'll put one on the left and one on the right. Uh, less than 4 thirds, x is less than 4 thirds looks like this. x is greater than 10 thirds is this. The original problem um, is an AND problem because it's pointing to the left. So AND says, where do these two overlap? Where do these overlap? They don't overlap at all, so the answer is no solution. So it's very important to know the difference between AND or OR when you get down to the bottom, as in how you name, uh, what you name the solution. Okay, so we continue above. Uh, let's let's say absolute value has a negative over there. Let's just test this. Absolute value is always positive, and this negative 4 is always negative. Will a positive number always be greater than or equal to a negative number? And that's true, and that's always true. So I'm suspecting that I'm going to get negative infinity to positive infinity. But let's say I didn't notice that it was a special case, and I said 10 minus 4x great write it the first time as it is second time flip it and change the sign solve this thing for x solve this equation for x divide both sides by negative 4 when you divide both sides by a negative we need to remember to flip x is less than or equal to, let's make sure I'll flip this thing, 14 over 4, x is less than or equal to, reduce that to 7 over 2. Over here, I'm going to subtract 10. Once again, we divide both sides by a negative. When we do this, it requires us to flip. And we would get x greater than or equal to 6 fourths, which reduces to 3 over 2 when we divide a 2 out of both of them. So I'm going to have 3 over 2, and I'm going to have a 7 over 2, not to scale on that graph, but in respect to each other. This means a bracket 7 over 2 less than bracket 3 over 2 greater than or means if it was ever colored on it's part of our answer so negative infinity to positive infinity which is what we expected in the beginning.